Just, just a minute. Hey, John. What do you, what, what do you, you better call the Humane Society. It sounds That's like somebody true. in this building's killing a cat. <laughs> Doing. John, you mean what are we doing? John, you and I are about to entertain two of the hottest dental hygienists in the tri-state area. Oh, no. <laughs> Come no. on, John. John, you have not lived until you have been tied up with dental floors. <laughs> Thank you very much for thinking of me, but I have a clarinet lesson in a very short while. You're taking clarinet lessons? Yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> All right, if you must know, I've been taking clarinet lessons for the last six weeks. Why? <laughs> because I was really into it when I was a kid, and I always regretted giving it up. <laughs> Why? <laughs> All right, Mr. Smart Guy, listen to this. There. Now, what do you think? I think you're the cat killer. Oh, you don't know anything about music. I don't know anything about... Now that is music. <laughs> Bimbo. Hi. Ladies, say hello to John. Hi, John. I'm Lorraine. I'm Heidi. Hi, hi, ladies. Listen, it's nice meeting you, but I'm afraid I have a clarinet lesson tonight. Why? <laughs> that one's mine. <laughs> Good, John. Your embouchure is improving. You've been practicing. Three hours straight, every night this week. I got an eviction notice to prove it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, that's me. Can I use your phone to call my wife? Yeah, sure. I'm waiting for some news about a rehearsal hall. Oh, what are you rehearsing for? Well, my advanced class is giving a recital next week at Carnegie Hall. Carnegie Hall? Wow. No, we're not on the main stage. We'll be next door at the Vile Recital Hall. Well, that's still Carnegie Hall. Hi, honey. Carnegie Any word? Hall. Wow. Oh, no. And Jerry can't make it, but the recital's a week away. Where am I supposed to find another clarinet player? <laughs> I know, sweetheart, but the clarinet player's a part of the combo. What's that gonna do? No, no place for rehearsal, no clarinet player? I might have to cancel the concert. Hold on a second. John. I'm on the phone. Try to hold the noise down. <laughs> Listen, uh, I gotta go. I'll see you in a little while. Bye. Oh, uh, John. John, I know what you're thinking, but I don't think you'd fit in. Oh, come on, Charlie. I mean, I know I'm not as good as your advanced students, but hey, I mean, you just said before that I'm really coming along. Well, well you are. Oh, come on, Charlie. Give me a chance. I, I would really, I'd give anything to tell my grandchildren that I played at Carnegie Hall and not be lying. <laughs> I guess the part really isn't that difficult. I'll, I'll practice. I swear I won't let you down. Maybe you could learn it. What do you think? Are you kidding? I could play this with one lip tied behind my back. <laughs> no problem at all. But what do these black squiggly things mean? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, listen. You need a place to rehearse? You can do it right here. How about that? Well, uh, but there's uh, 12 of us. No problem. All right. Uh, 
Friday, 5 o'clock. You got it. Fine. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Charlie. You. Thanks a lot. I won't let you down. Bye. Carnegie Hall. Oh, wow. Carnegie Hall. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, after a 35-year absence from the music scene, let's give a warm Carnegie Hall welcome to that very talented Hot Lips Lacey. <laughs> down at the tunnel, and I've been picked to train her. <laughs> they got us working together in the same cramped toll booth. <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> Today, Molly and I almost bumped change makers. <laughs> All right, Ralphie, you keep up the good work, and before long, she's going to have you screaming, good golly, Miss Molly. <laughs> Must you turn a sweet infatuation like this into some sleazy sexual conquest? Somebody's got to. <laughs> Whoa! Well, look who's here, the Pied Piper of Rigo Park. Old Robo Chops. I guess Kirk has told you all that I'm taking clarinet lessons. Yeah, I suppose he's also told you that I have no talent for the clarinet at all. Actually, he was quite supportive. He said there was no way you could get any worse. <laughs> I think you're very funny, don't you, Kirk? Want to hear something really funny? Yeah. <laughs> One week from this Saturday, I, John Lacey, will be performing at Carnegie Hall. <laughs> That's a good one, Jeff. Round, round, round. Ralph, I'm not joking. Make up your mind. <laughs> You've been invited to play Carnegie Hall, John? Yeah, that's right. And um, Roseanne Barr has been invited to sing at the White House. <laughs> I'll have you know that my teacher's advanced class is going to be performing at the recital hall there. And I'm going to be one of the soloists. Oh, John. Oh, John. Oh, John. Well, this is very exciting. And I think we should go. I suggest that no matter what any of us are doing that night, we cancel our plans. That's going to be hard for me, Louise. I don't have any plans. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't miss this for the world. Oh, me neither. Oh, you mean to say that you guys would really make a trip all the way into Manhattan to see a... Amateur musician play at Carnegie Hall? Of course we would, John. Good. Curtain's at eight sharp. Don't be late. <laughs> Louise, I called your babysitter. She'll be at your place at seven. Kate, you have a hair appointment at four? Oh, no, it's at five. Trust me, it's at four. <laughs> uh, John, can I get one of those? You, Kirk? You really want one? You bet I do. Say please. Please. Thanks. Because I got a caraway seat stuck between my teeth. <laughs> yes, hello. No, 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 Kirk, you cannot bring anyone over here right now. No, 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 I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm not interested in meeting a gymnast. I don't care what she can do on a balance beam. <laughs> really? No, Kirk, no, Kirk, I'm sorry. No, no, listen, I'll see you later on at the one-to-one. -one. Kirk, my fellow musicians are coming over here for our first rehearsal. I'm putting the beer on the ice. And, oh, there are the guys right now. Yeah, well, you can laugh all you like, but the first time in my life, I'm going to be playing with musicians I can really look Easy, up to. Easy, John. Come on in, guys. Hi. And then when they show up, I find out I'm the only one in the orchestra that doesn't believe in Santa Claus. 
So what can I do? I mean, I can't let those little kids down. No matter how embarrassing it's gonna be for me. So now I only have five minutes to think up some excuse and my friends won't show up at Carnegie Hall. Carnegie Hall? I don't drive my taxi to Manhattan. <laughs> no, 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 there's concerts tomorrow night. Maybe I can tell them Carnegie Hall burned down. No, it was flooded. No, 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 they'll never believe that. So let's see, what else is there? Ooh, drought, famine, pestilence. Thank you, that's enough. <laughs> Good, I was making myself homesick. <laughs> hey, um, if I offered you 20 bucks for your turban, would you be insulted? Of course I'd be insulted. This turban belonged to my grandfather. How about 25? Deal. <laughs> had a dream about Molly. We were running through the Lincoln Tunnel, hand in hand, buck naked. <laughs> suddenly, suddenly she threw me down and started to make wild, passionate love to me. <gasps> it was great. But at least it was not until a Volkswagen ran over us. <laughs> Then a station wagon, then a stretch limo. A Winnebago even crossed the solid yellow line to get a shot at us. Don't get me wrong, Kirk. I like sex as much as the next guy, but I'll be damned if I'll die for it. I got it. Well, ladies, you're rough. Go ahead. Tell these guys your dream about mouse. <laughs> Oh, really? Was it romantic? Yeah, if you don't mind getting wasted by a Winnebago. <laughs> It's got the cutest little sequin top and this darling little patent leather belt and the skirt just kind of flares out and... Oh, no. What's the matter? I just decided I don't like it. <laughs> just as well, Mary Beth, because I'm, I'm afraid I, I can't perform tomorrow night. See, Tom, it happens to everyone. <laughs> talking about John well you see uh, I have clarinet elbow <laughs> clarinet elbow yes uh, I can't move my arm at all John how could you hurt your elbow playing the clarinet well did I say playing no uh, actually I was uh, uh, carrying it <laughs> down 73rd Street at midnight John, what were you doing on 73rd Street at midnight? What was I doing? I was walking. And I heard footsteps behind me, and, um, and then I started walking faster, and the footsteps got faster, and finally this guy, it might have been two guys, caught up to me and uh, grabbed my clarinet case and dragged me halfway down the block <laughs> on my elbow. <laughs> That's why I called the clarinet elbow. So what's new in your life, Louise? <laughs> what a minute, John. Uh, you mean you didn't even put up a fight? A fight? I mean, how can I fight? The guys were this tall and this what? <laughs> was right. Clarinet elbow just seems to come and go. <laughs> it's great. Okay, okay. There's nothing wrong with my elbow at all. I uh, made up the whole story. Because I... I don't want any of you to come to Carnegie Hall tomorrow night. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh no. It's my dress, isn't it? No, 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 no. I, I don't want you to come because I just found out that... Um, all the musicians I'll be playing with are nine years old. <laughs> you see, now, you see, that, that, that's the reason. You see, I, I knew it. It's because you, you guys are going to laugh. That's why I don't want you to come. No, 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 I know it. I know you're going to laugh. Now, you got to promise me, all right? Just promise me. You're not coming. 
All right, all right, all right, John, it's a big disappointment, but I suppose we do understand your position. Good. <laughs> what about you, Kurt? What? <laughs> Me? Well? John, do you think I would laugh knowing how much all this means to you? Damn right. <laughs> It really hurts, John. Sure, all the others would laugh. No, we wouldn't. Oh, come on, Louise! <laughs> Don't pretend. I know what's going through all your minds. Oh, yeah. Let's go see a performance of Mozart featuring John Lacey and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> come on! We'll bring a video camera. We'll make a movie. Honey, I shrunk the orchestra. Hey, come on, Kurt. So did you. You said you were going to spend the evening cuddled up in front of the telly with Pete. I was. But he's been mad at me ever since I had him neutered. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> what is the problem? The lady asked me to hold her seat. <laughs> Good evening, Kirk. <clears throat> What are y'all doing here? Apparently the same thing as you. Well, I wish I'd known y'all were as nosy as I am. We wouldn't have had to take separate limos. Fine support group we are. Maybe it's good we all showed up. This will give us a chance to make up for our childish behavior last night. Yes. Oh, look, they're about to start. <coughs> Listen, let's go inside. We'll sit quietly, and at the end of the concert, we'll give John a standing ovation. Hold it. I think I smell a Ralph. Relax, Mr. Lacey. You'll do fine. You're freezing. Your intonation, your tone, impeccable. Ah, uh, thanks, Billy. Got your last. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, moms and dads. We are now pleased to present an evening of Mozart featuring the advanced class of the Charles Mora Music School. <coughs> Nine. Ours is the one in the middle. He's only 45. <laughs> didn't come. 
Well, I hope you all had a real good laugh. John, we didn't laugh at you. What you heard were all the other people in the audience. <laughs> yeah, and some of the people who work here. <laughs> yeah, well, even though I did fall on my face tonight, I gotta tell you, there were a few fleeting moments there when I actually felt like a real musician. Who knows, maybe someday I'll be good enough to play with people my own age. <laughs> Let's hope so, John, because those kids don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. Kill the lights, Joe. I'll get them. Uh, listen, guys, uh, this is probably the closest I'll ever get to Carnegie Hall again without buying a ticket, so if you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a few minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, here. Good, good, problem. Problem. We'll good see night, John. Thanks, good John. Good you good John. looks great. Yeah. Hey, uh, just keep your shirt on. This is important to me. Next. Oh, this really sexy woman is visiting the family, so which Finelli brother do you think she's going to fall for? It's obvious. This is Chris Maloney. The answer is on the Finelli boys. Then, Hunter's past becomes his present, and he faces his toughest case yet on Hunter. Tonight, only on NBC. NBC.